Ooh. Why do I look so ghostly? I hate when this happens. Like, what is this little section of my face? I don't know what goes on. Like, with my lighting sometimes, I look so scary. Like, right now, I look really scary on camera. And I don't like it. And I don't know how to fix it either. That's the thing. But if I turn off the light, well, if I turn off the light, then you ain't going to be able to see. I mean, if I turn it another way. Oh my gosh, why do I look so scary? I look ashy. I don't know, it's because I have sunscreen underneath here. Like, I wonder if that's why it looks so bad on camera because I have on sunscreen underneath. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what's already on my face and then um, I'm gonna finish my face with some new products that I've recently purchased, received. So for primer, the first primer I went in with is the Ulta Beauty Matte Face Primer. This is one of my favorites. It's one of my new favorite, like, oil controlling primers. This stuff is bomb. It is one fluid ounce, and it's $18. So it's kind of pricey, but it's the Ulta brand, so it's not as expensive as your other brands that you can find at Ulta or Sephora. But, yeah, I love this primer. I think it's the sunscreen that's literally making my face look like this. We're gonna ignore it, okay? I promise you that in person, I don't look ashy like this. Wow, I cannot take pictures with flash today, which is okay, it's sunny outside. But that's the first primer I have on. Next, I went in with my under eye primer from Becca. This is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. I have dry under eyes, so when I remember to use this, I try to because it helps to moisturize my under eyes. And then just for some extra oil control in the T-zone. Oh, no, I'm knocking everything down. I'm sure you can hear it. Oh, my gosh. I'm so organized. Actually, I'm pretty organized. I'm trying to stay organized is the issue right now. I'm trying to put stuff away. It doesn't want to fit. Okay, that's good enough. And then for extra oil control in my T-zone, I went in with the Becca... Evermatte Poreless Primer Perfector, just on my nose and on my forehead, the brows, where I get most oily. Just a little bit of this layered on top of the Ulta one. And for foundation, let me tell y'all what sunscreen I have on so you know not to wear this if you're going to be taking pictures with flash. So the SPF I have on is the Murad Environmental Shield Essential C Day Moisturizer, Day Moisture Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is what I have on underneath my foundation, and which is why I think my face is coming off so ashy on camera. So that's what I have on underneath. I'm also investigating to see if this breaks me out. Because there was a time when I was using this along with some other things and I was breaking out more than I normally do. Right now I have a hormonal breakout because it's that time of month on my chin. Like this giant pimple. I have a tiny teeny one on my nose and then some more on this side of my chin. But it's just like literally right here. Everywhere else is good. But yeah, that's the SPF I have on, which I think is making me look so ashy. The foundation I have on is a new one that I've recently tried out, and it's the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. I have the darkest shade, cappuccino, and it actually matches me really, really well. This is a really good match for me. I wish you could see, of course, we're getting this ashiness, but if you follow me on my um, social media, you'll see it on my social media. I'll take pictures and stuff. This is really good. I really, really like this. This is my first time testing it out when I go to work at Ulta. I went up to school and it did fine at school. I was teaching school. Now I'm gonna try it out at Ulta. So far, I'm really liking that foundation and I believe it's only like $8.99, $9.99. Like it's less than $10. To set my face, I used my favorite loose powder. Cody Airspun in the deepest shade called Suntan. It's like a pink tone to it. And for the rest of my face, I use my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder in the shade Chai 26. As you can see, I've hit pan on it. I really like this um, for setting the perimeters of my face. It's a nice powder. So that's all I have on my face. We're gonna go ahead and highlight. For highlight, I'm gonna use my new 
palette from Beauty Bakery, the coffee and cocoa palette. I also want to try out some of the other shades I didn't use the first time I used this on camera. I'm going to go ahead and throw a little slip away, even though it really is cute. I'm going to go ahead and throw it away. Yeah. Okay, so here's the palette. Like I said, we're going to use the highlighter in here. Is this matte? It's supposed to be matte. Oh no, it's not. Well, it's kind of like satiny. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna use the shade You're Grounded Again. It's this one right here. Cause I'm not sure, this one is like almost kind of matte satiny. So I don't know if it would show up as a highlighter on my skin. I feel like it'd be really subtle. I don't know, I need to do some more research on how people use that shade. But we're gonna go on with You're Grounded Again, which is this shade right here. It's a beautiful bronzy gold. I'm gonna use that for highlighter today. For highlight, highlight. I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes, you already know. It's my Ray Ray number five brush in collaboration with BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna take your grounded. And we're gonna lightly sweep that on the highest points of the cheekbone. Oh, Nola is asleep, she looks so cute. When she closes her eyes, they look like little, um, they almost look like little Batman symbols. She's so precious. But yeah, I'm just getting ready to go to church for the first time in a long time. I'm actually gonna make it. And then um, I have to work at Ulta after that. And yeah, I'm excited to go to church. It's, I don't even know the last time I went, which is bad, because y'all know I'm a pretty avid church-going person, but I've just been so exhausted from working both my jobs, where it's like, if I don't rest on Sunday, then I'm not going to be ready for the school week, so, yeah. Also drinking out of my Julesy mug. Um, the Tarte mug I had in my video yesterday, somebody was asking about it. That Tarte mug um, was a gift with purchase a gift with purchase from Ulta. So I don't know if you can buy it off their website. Um, I would just go to Tarte. It says Perk Up and Pretty. Um, but yeah, it's a Tarte mug, which can be problematic, you know, because they're supposed to be expanding their shade range and blah, 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 all that drama that happened. But I love that mug because it says Perk Up and Pretty, which is perfect for the mornings, you know, Perk Up and Get Pretty. If that's what you like to do, which is what I like to do. Um, this is a highlighter is really, really pretty. It's just, you know, a gold highlighter that looks good on deeper skin tones. But yeah, I love my blessed and unbothered mug. Stay blessed and unbothered mug. It's from smartbrowngirl.com, which is owned by Julesy. She's here on YouTube. She's a YouTuber. I don't know why my voice is starting to sound a little weird. I don't think I'm getting sick. Is it allergies? Like my voice? I don't know, maybe it's allergies. Like I've got, I've had mucus and stuff, but I'm just glad it's not like the itchy, watery, eyes, sneezy kind of allergies. I think I have allergies, guys. So my voice is sounding a little strange. And we're gonna use this to highlight the brow bone. I take it a little bit above the brow, whatever's left over. Just for a little bit of highlight in this area. Ooh, oh. And this area. So I'm on my laptop again. I want you guys to tell me if you like it better on the laptop or on my phone when I do live videos. I prefer the laptop because it's easier and I know what time it is because it's in the corner of the screen. Um, but with my phone, it's easier for me to like show you random things, like to flip it the screen around and stuff like that. Like it's easier to, it's more easy to, it's more mobile, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. That's why it's called a mobile phone. And then like, I can show you Nola, like with the laptop, it just sits here and I sit in front of it. Like I'm not gonna be swiveling around and stuff. Like, no, no. I'm feeling so much better. Like <sighs> my menstrual cycles have been getting worse and worse and worse the older I get. And it, they just started to get really, really bad and intense when I moved here. Like, I feel like when I moved here, my health just started to diminish. And um, yeah, and this one was really rough at the beginning, like really, really rough. Like it was, it was a lot. Like I, 
was like told that if I need to leave work, I can leave work. Like that's how bad it was. And um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I feel so much better today. Today is day four, day three. So it's like the end. So that's why I feel fine. I feel totally fine now. Um, other than like the acne that I have from it, the breakout. But other than that, I'm good. Yo, this pimple on my nose is going to annoy the crap out of me. It's so small, but man, I just highlighted it too. But I want highlight on my nose, so. Such is life. Okay. I think I am done highlighting my face. I didn't go too overboard, you know. Sometimes I like it to be more intense than what it is right now, but this is good because I have no idea what eye look we're going to do. This is going to be a little bit longer probably of a get ready with me because I don't know what I'm going to do for my eyes. So let's go ahead and try and use the shade anti depresso in this palette. It's supposed to be like a bronzer, I think. Well, I'll show you the shade of it. I'm going to use my blush brush so that I can kind of like, I'm going to put kind of like a blush bronzer. It's a beautiful, like deep purple shade. Do you see this right here? Like a deep brownish purple. Antidepresso. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Ulta Beauty blush brush. I really like this brush too. And we're gonna try and see how this looks as like a bronzer, but it's so shimmery. I don't know. <gasps> it works. Oh my gosh. That looks really good actually. Oh, as like a contour even though it's shimmery. I did model, I don't model anymore, but I mean, I guess I still have a model. I don't know. Thank you so much for your kind compliment. Ooh, this actually works really good guys as like a, a contour. Like, please ignore how ashy I look. I promise my skin is not this ashy in real life. I have on sunscreen under here and I think that's why I'm coming off lighter. As you can see, I'm dark brown, but I look, I look crazy right now, oh! but I think it's the sunscreen. So in real life, um, I don't look this crazy. Wow, this works really well as a, ooh, that looks pretty mixed together. So I'm gonna use this kind of like a contour slash blush. I'm gonna kind of blend it onto the apple of my cheek, whatever's left over. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. <gasps> okay, yeah, I love it. Antidepresso is definitely, it's not as shimmery when you put it in the hollows of your cheek as you think it would be, but it mixes really nicely onto the cheek. <laughs> Have a good day, Hans Holtz. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, yeah. Yeah, don't knock it till you try it. Like I was kind of skeptical because of how shimmery it is, but it doesn't look, it looks really good. Hopefully y'all can see how that's adding like definition to my cheek. Ooh, that is pretty. Like when it mixes with the highlight, oh, it's really pretty. That's when you can more so see the shimmer in it. I need a little bit more like right in here. There we go. I want to really make sure that it's strong right next to my ear. And then I'm blending it upward as you can see. Oh, that's really pretty. I wish you could, I wish the colors were showing up more true to color on camera, but I'm just super ashy looking and washed out. But you can still see how it's like giving definition. That is really nice as a, I would call it a contour because it's pretty cool toned. Um, but when you mix it like onto up higher on your cheek, it shows up like a shimmering purple. So it's like a blush and contour all in one. That's pretty. Okay, yeah, I really like that. Just making sure that the sides are even, you know. evenly blended. Okay, 
So we're done with um, the face. I'm not gonna add anything else to the skin. Let's go ahead and do brows. Yeah, so I've used every shade in this palette now except Deja Brew because I'm not sure like what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like I'm not sure how I'm supposed to use it. So, but I've used every other shade in this Coffee and Cocoa palette from Beauty Bakery, which again is a black owned, black woman owned business. I'm really enjoying this palette and I definitely will be using it more, especially for that like bronzer contour shade because that is so pretty. It's pretty. Yes, and um, I did like a flat twist style on my hair. I haven't really shown y'all. Y'all can see. I just did it last night. I just washed my hair last night. And then um, I just did the top half and then the back half is in like four or five braids. I flat twisted and then when I got to the end where it's like not attached to my scalp, I braided it so that um, as this dries over the week, hopefully I can unbraid the ends and have like flat twists in the front and like a braid out in the back. And I think that'll be really cute. Really, really, really cute. But basically, this is my little protective style. I'll probably wear it in the ponytail um, until Wednesday. Hello. Good morning. All right. I need to do my brows now. Time for brows. I'm trying to figure out where I should put this. I have all the palettes I need to use in a stack right on the corner of my sink. And it's a little intense. Okay. I've used almost all the shades in this. So I'm going to retire this one to, it's, to another location. <laughs> For now. All right, let's do the brows. Um, I'm looking ashy because I put on sunscreen underneath my makeup and it's literally making me look like a ghost. I look very scary, but it's okay. In person, I don't look scary. Gonna go ahead and do my gonna go ahead and do my brows with the wet and wild retractable eyeliner pencil in black. following the natural shape of my brows. And oh, for breakfast today, uh, yeah, I know. Can you see how ash I look? Like the sunscreen really like, whoa, yeah, wow, it's true. Look, I look so ashy, oh gosh. Yeah, but it's okay. I just won't take any pictures of flash. Nobody should be taking pictures of flash of me anyway, so yeah. I look crazy, which is okay. I'm drinking green chai, chai green tea, or green chai tea, chai green tea. It's really good. Ooh, it's getting kind of, it's like the perfect temperature. Hold on. Ooh. It's really good. Sorry, my nose started to run. Okay. Let me finish up these brows. So we can move on to the eyes because I know that's what you guys want to see because I have so many palettes. My mug says, stay blessed and unbothered. And it's from Smart Brown Girl, um, Julesy here on YouTube. She talks about everything. She's a Delta. Um, she has natural hair. She lives in Texas. But I think she's from she's from the north, either like Chicago or New York. This is from like her brand. So this is a black owned business that I bought this from. But yeah, it says stay blessed and unbothered. And this is a really big mug. Like, yeah, this is huge. Like this is this is the one that I like to take to work because you know, I work at a school that's predominantly black. So my black coworkers, they get it and they laugh when I carry this mug around. But the white people are like, <laughs> which I think is funny because I just keep on walking, keep on sipping. But yeah, go order. It's really big. Like it's expensive, you know, because it's her brand. I think it's like 18 to 20 dollars, which is a lot for one mug. But, you know, I'm supporting a black woman and it's huge. The mug is huge. So I love it. It's one of my favorites. No, you can't tell. Look, 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 look. Look at my face compared to my body. You see, I do look ashy. Look at my face. You see the difference? 
But in person, I, it matches. But on camera, do you see? Like, look, look, look. You can see it. It's because I got on sunscreen underneath, and it really. I put on a lot. I put on too much sunscreen. Like, it was a lot. Like, I had to take it. Like, I was rubbing it in for a while. But yeah, I'm definitely ashy. You can tell the difference between my face and my body and my hand. I mean, just look. I look crazy, but it's okay. In person, I don't look crazy. So, just on camera. Let me finish my brow, guys. We're on. We're not on a time crunch. All I have to do is my eyes and my lips last after this. But I'm gonna let y'all help me choose what palette I'm gonna use for my eyes because I have so many new palettes that I need to like dabble into. And y'all know I try to use things that are from Ulta, but I get it at Ulta. The one heck of a blot is at Ulta, um, and I think Target carries Soap and Glory. If I'm not mistaken, I really do like that primer though. It's one of my favorites. Like I probably won't go back to high-end primers like mattifying primers because I found some really good drugstore ones. All right, this brow is done. But yeah, I have so many palettes. Oh my goodness, so many palettes. All the palettes. I need to go through all my makeup. I keep saying that like every time I get on camera. I need to go through everything and figure out what I want to keep and what I want to give to my sister. Nola is great. She actually just woke up. She's sitting on my bed. Um, thank you. I am recording on my laptop, so it's hard for me to show her to you when I'm on the laptop live which is the only reason I prefer the phone over the laptop is that I can literally just show Nola to you guys. But with the laptop, I just sit it down and, you know, record. I don't uh, pick it up like I do with my phone and flip the screen and all that jazz, which I can't do on my laptop. So, but Nola's good, yo, she good, she Gucci. She had her breakfast, she went on her morning walk. Now she's relaxing on my bed like she normally does. But yeah, I'm so excited to go to church. Like, I haven't been in a while. And uh, I miss singing. Honestly, it's one of my favorite parts of like worship service is the singing. And I go to a church where we sing a cappella, which is, you know, not typical of most African American people's church experience, you know. But I grew up in a church where we never had instruments and it's for biblical reasons. I'm not going to jump into all that right now with y'all here, but um, we sing a cappella, So we have no instruments. Um, yeah, I just miss it a lot. Like it's been a while since I've, you know, been to church and we sing. So I know it broke. Yeah, it broke my pink and black mirror. Where was I living when it broke? Was I living here or was that before I moved here? I feel like it broke before I moved here. When I still lived in Rock Hill, when I was still in college maybe. Okay, I think this brow is done too. Are they symmetrical? Pretty much, for the most part, they're symmetrical. But yeah, I'm excited to go to church. It's just a drive that I have to pay a toll. I don't like that but I'll get over it. <laughs> Man, the, my drive to worship service is like, I gotta go over bridges. I gotta cross so, over the ocean and stuff. Yeah, so that means a broken Rock Hill. I, or I probably was at my parents' house when I think I broke it. I dropped it at my parents' house in Sumter. But um, yeah, and then I had my other mirrors before this one and that broke too. I broke like two in the, in the same day. Two in the same, I broke two mirrors in the same week. I remember that. I was like, whoa, this is what's going on, you know? Since supposedly that's bad luck. I was, I don't know what was going on then, but yeah. Okay. My brows are done. I really like the way they came out. They came out really nice today. Okay, let's go through palettes so we can finish up the eyes. And whatever I do for my eyes will determine what I do for my lips. Um, 
So I have this, what is this? I have this Estee Lauder palette in collaboration with Kendall Jenner that I got like super cheap for the Lolo. Oh, let me take it out the box. All the stuff is still in boxes. I'm gonna throw that away. It looks like this. It's from the Estee Edit. Oh, whoops. It's from the Estee Edit collection in collaboration with Kendall Jenner. Here are the colors inside. It's really pretty, actually. There's some really pretty colors. So that's an option. I feel like I should wait to use this one for another day. I don't know if I'm feeling neutral or bold. You know how those days, like when you don't know what you want to eat, it's like I don't know what I want to do with my face right now. Goodness gracious, I'm dropping stuff. Ugh. And then, of course, I have the Huda Beauty Mauves palette. I already know what I'm going to wear today. I'm just going to wear all black, so it doesn't really matter what colors I wear. And I did a comparison video. So I have this palette I can do. I have the Brights palette. I'm not really feeling the Brights. So we're just going to cancel, cancel on the Bright palettes today. But I compared the Huda Beauty um, to this one from Bad Habit, which is called Aftershock. I did a comparison of these. So we'll use these another day, but I'm not feeling the bright, bright colors today. So let's say no to those. Those are not for today. Another day, I have this After Hours palette that is very similar to the Huda Beauty, what is it called? Mauve Obsessions. They're like, it's very similar. I don't really want to do mauve pink either. So I guess I'm feeling neutral. That's the only thing I could do. And then I have this Aftershock palette, which is supposed to be a dupe of another Huda Beauty palette that is more like on the neutral side. Shide, what is a shide? Or I could use my, um, my Minted Cosmetics, Cosmetics palette. I've only used this once on camera. I don't really like all matte eyeshadow looks. I prefer shimmer on my lid. But I can use this Minted Cosmetics like everyday palette. I guess we'll do something neutral. I have the Morphe 3502, but I don't really wanna use that palette because I feel like all my looks with that one kind of come out the same. Yeah, I feel like they all kind of come out the same. It's either like super fiery red or it's like just like gold or bronzy on the lid and then like a warm brown in the crease. Like, yeah, I feel like every look I do with um, the Morphe 3502, it all just looks the same. So I don't really want to use that one. So let's choose between Minted. This is their new palette, which I love the formula of these eyeshadows. We're voting between Minted, the After Party palette from Bad Habit, which looks like this. You could do something with that. Or this Estee Edit palette in collaboration with Kendall Jenner because there's some nice shades in here. Those are our options. I have one person fermented. I'm gonna wait like 30 more seconds and then I'm just gonna use that one, even though it's not available at Ulta. Oh, well. Okay, I'll do the minted palette. Mm -mm -mm. This palette, if I remember correctly, is only like $28. It's very affordable. Okay, yep. I have the two people that are watching Fermented. It's very affordable, and the formula on these shadows is really, really nice. And it's a black owned business. But y'all know I've been all about that this year. Don't talk about it, be about it. That's what my dad always says. So, well, I have all the plastic things still on. I don't know why I keep this stuff, guys. But it comes with a huge mirror. This is what it looks like. These are the shades. It's I think it's called literally Everyday Eyeshadow Palette. Yep. And the shades in here are beautiful. And you can use these shades all over your face. Um, Andrea Renee did a video like that where she used the eyeshadows as like highlighters, eyeshadows, and as like a contour bronzer. And it works for that. Definitely works for that. So we're going to do something neutral. Somebody said gold. So we're going to put the bright gold on the lid, which is called First Date. We'll put that on the lid today. That one. And then we'll just do something in the crease, something simple. I'm feeling simple. And then we'll do a crazy lip, I think. Cause I have a lipstick from, I got, it's turquoise. Ah, it's like teal, it's really pretty. 
So I'm gonna take this number six brush from BH Cosmetics in the It's My Rare collection. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Red Bone. I feel like that name is a little problematic for me, but I don't know, it's okay. Red Bone, put that in my crease, crease, put that in my crease. And these are really pigmented. Like you can get a look really fast and really easy with these shadows. And this is a matte shade. It is so pretty as a transition color. I mean, and these blend so easy. Like the formula of these eyeshadows is bomb. It's great. So I'm putting this like high up in my crease, kind of above the crease actually. But yeah, my outfit for today is gonna be really, really cute. Like I have this top I got from, I think Forever 21. It's not really anything fancy, but it's really cute. It's really low cut. So I'm gonna have to wear something underneath it, but it's like got little ruffles on it that make it cute in my opinion. I like ruffly tops. So yeah, I don't know if I want to do like just a red lip. I feel like I should do like with the top. The top is very elegant, like Tahisha just said. It's like a more elegant top. I keep repeating myself. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. But so I feel like if I do like a crazy teal lip with it, then it won't, it won't really like go with it. But at the same time, it's like that could be fun because I like colors and I'm fun. I'm not, you know, I don't know. I'm not your traditional kind of girl. Yeah, I'm definitely not traditional. That's not a word I feel like anybody would use to describe me as a person. Traditional? Oh, do you guys like my hair? I did flat twist. I was talking about it earlier, but I've got flat twist in the front. And then like, I only did like the top half of my hair and then the back is um, like five plaits or so. And I just pulled it all in a ponytail because I'm gonna do a braid out. Um, so I flat twisted the top and then when I got to the end, Orange lip. I don't want to do orange today. Don't want to do orange today. I wore orange the other day, like a, a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago. I do like an orange lip though. It's perfect for like spring, which it is spring here. Well, it's spring everywhere. Well, not everywhere, you know, because the other half of the world, it's fall. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't feel like spring everywhere where it's supposed to be spring. Uh, I don't do new lips for church. I'm not one of those people who cares about being conservative at church. The Lord called us to stand out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, here it's warm. Here in South Carolina, it's warm. You know, by the time it's daytime, it's warm. In the early morning, it's still kind of cold. And at night, it gets cold. But during the day, it's nice. Okay, I've been blending the shade forever for no reason. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Upside Brown, which is this middle matte brown shade. I'm gonna use that to deepen up the crease. I don't know what lip color I wanna do. I don't, do I want purple? No, I'm not feeling purple today. I've been very purple lately, but I don't want purple. And I'm using the same brush, if you can tell. I'm just focusing this on the outer V area of my eye and I'm like tapping it on so that the pigmentation is more concentrated. Um, I don't want purple. I don't want orange. I don't really want to do red either. I can't do this teal color. Plus the kids at church love when I do crazy lip colors. They love it and they all sit next to me, which is cute. But it's like, would you even remember who I am since I haven't been there in so long? So yeah, I really like this. 
palette. Like it's so easy. Like you can't really go wrong. You know what I mean? Like you can't mess up with this palette unless you just don't blend. A gloss. Oh, I do have the new Fenty Gloss Bomb. Which I've never used before. We could do that. Do I want to be that simple though? That's the thing. You know, because do I just want gloss? I kind of want more than just a gloss, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just finish the eyes. All right, so I've deepened up the crease in the outer V with this shade. I feel like, yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to go on the lid with the shade First Date, which is that nice bright gold right here. Nude with a hint of gloss. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm going to use my finger. Do you see that? Like, this shadow palette is really nice. Look. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. It's so good. Like, the formula on these is so good. Okay, we're going to figure this lip situation out. But yeah, sometimes with my makeup, I'm like how people are with food where they're just like, I don't know what I want to eat. Do you want Mexican? No. Chinese? I don't know. American food? I don't know. African food? Indian food? And you're just like, I don't know. And then you literally go through like everything that's available and you're literally just like sitting there hungry. That's how I am with my makeup sometimes. It's like, I don't know what I want to do. What lip color do I want? Like nothing sounds great, but nothing sounds bad. You're just like there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this small brush that I normally use for my inner core and lower lash line because my finger can't really get like right here in this fold. So I have creases in my eyes. Like I have a, um, a double lid. Like, you know what I mean? Like my eyes are kind of hooded. Like when I close open them. <laughs> Like there's skin above. So there's like these little folds where the eyeshadow sometimes skips and doesn't get with when I apply it with my finger. So I'm just going to use this brush to take that lid shade right in here to make sure that all of that skin gets covered and isn't just chilling. I'm also going to use this little brush to blend into that brown shade on the edges. Yeah, this palette is perfect for the everyday woman who only likes neutral colors or your preference is neutral colors. It's also a really good size. The mirror is really good as well. So this is perfect for traveling. Like if you're a businesswoman or if you're, I don't know, going on vacation, all you want to do is neutral looks and like bold lips, which is kind of how I am when I vacation. I don't really do too intense eyes. I'll just do different versions of some sort of neutral look with bold lip colors to match what I'm wearing. This palette is perfect for that. And I'm basically sort of kind of cutting my crease, can y'all tell, with the shadow, but like really softly, like it's not official, official cut crease, like with all that concealer and stuff people do. Y'all know that's not really my jam. I'm kind of getting a similar look just by using this brush and the eyeshadow and creating a nice defined line of gold that fades into the browns. That's so pretty. Thank you guys for suggesting this. All right, I'm going to take the shame, the shame, the same shade that's on my lid. I'm going to take it into my inner corner with the same brush. which is really pretty. I'm gonna take it like a third the way in on the lower lash line. I'm gonna wipe off the brush and then we're gonna go in with the shade Upside Brown, which is the color I use to deepen up my outer V area. I'm gonna put that all on the lower lash line. The rest of my lower lash line. And it's kind of, it shows up a little bit darker on my lower lash line than it did on my outer V, that's okay. Yes, really simple, easy. 
And if you want to add wing liner to this, you go ahead. But y'all know I'm not really about that wing liner life. I'm just, it's just extra. If you want to add lashes, you add lashes. You can really, you know, do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. A gold lip? Mm -mm -mm. I used to wear gold lipstick all the time, but then I grew up and I looked back at those pictures and I was like, I look crazy it really looks crazy it's either like it's got to be editorial or like for like a photo shoot or halloween or something yeah like gold lips on me it looks it looks really crazy okay so we're done with eyeshadow you see how easy that was we only used three colors and we got this nice look shout out to mentu okay we're gonna do a mascara Mascara, mascara, mascara. I only use two brushes, guys. Like, it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't need a whole lot out here to be cute. Cute. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater. This is one of my favorites, and it's one of the ones I have up here. I try to use my mascaras. You're not afraid to fall out on my face. I didn't have any. But um, even with shadows that do fall out, no. I just brush it away. I literally just go whoop, whoop, really light pressure and just like brush it away. Um, and then if it mixes on my face, then it just mixes on my face. And I don't I don't really care that much about fallout. I prefer to do my face before my eyes. And also, I don't really like to use eyeshadow primer. I only use eyeshadow primer when I'm doing other people's makeup. For me, I prime my lids by putting my foundation on and powdering over top of the foundation. That's my eyeshadow primer. So I'm like saving money because I don't buy eyeshadow primer ever. This mascara is really good. Did I tell you how about how I accidentally cut my lashes? Yeah, struggle is real. But yeah, I don't really, I'm not really afraid of fallout. Yo, my nose really needs to stop running. Because I keep rubbing off the makeup from the bottom of my nose. I'm only going to use one mascara today. I'm not going to be extra. What sounds scary? Oh, gold lipstick? Is that what you're talking about? Sounds scary. But yeah, fallout. I mean, if it happens, it happens. And literally, I just brush it away. Usually, you can just brush it away. And my face has so much powder on it, you know, like it's not going to stick. Like the um, if I do get fallout, it's not going to stick to my skin because I wear a lot of powder. That's what gives my skin such like a smooth look to it. And like a flawless look is the powders that I use which are mostly from the drugstore. I actually prefer drugstore powders over high-end powders, to be honest. Yeah, I accidentally cut my eyelashes. So when I, um, actually a week ago, when I was doing makeup for my friend's wedding, I was trying on, this is like the morning of the wedding. Um, <laughs> this is the morning of the wedding and I bought all these eyelashes for the girls, for the bride, the bridesmaids and all that stuff. And I wanted to try on a pair that I had never worn before. Like a few of the ones I was like, oh, these are gonna look good. I know how this style looks, yada, yada, yada. But there was one style I was like, let me try it on to see how this looks. Cause they looked a little crazy in the container. But I was like, you know, sometimes it look crazy in the container it can look good on your eye. So I put it on my eye and it did look crazy. And I was like, they're a little too long. Let me trim them. If you trim eyelashes, you're not supposed to trim them while they're on your eyes. But I was like rushing and being lazy. And so I tried to trim them while they were on my eyes. And when I went to trim the fake lashes, I cut off some of my own eyelashes. So that's how I cut my eyelashes. I accidentally trimmed off some of my own eyelashes when trying to trim fall lashes while they were on my eyes, which you should not do. Okay? Don't do it. Don't be lazy. Take them off, trim them, then reapply. Okay? Okay. Or just wear a different pair that don't look crazy. 
which is what I should have done. I ended up just not wearing any. I was like, this is tragic. I cut off more on this eye than I did this eye. I don't know if y'all can tell. Carly can't tell because I've put on a bunch of mascara, but. It's okay though. I cut them off when I was like in seventh grade. I cut all these eyelashes off on this eye and they feel like, I feel like they've permanently been a little bit shorter than this eye. I literally cut them all off when I was in seventh grade. I was just curious as to what would happen. I was a strange child. Okay, I mean, I'm still strange. I'm a strange adult, but. Okay, so I mean, can you tell this mascara is bomb? Look at my eyelashes. I don't even wear, um, I don't even like to wear fake eyelashes. It does make a difference though. Also gonna put this on the bottom lashes. Bottom lashes really just help to open up your eye even more. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, this mascara is really good. Shout out to Ulta, it was gratis, meaning it was a gift for me for being a good employee. And I did some training about it and stuff like that. And we get, um, we'll get makeup products for doing extra trainings and things like that. Thanks, all we need to do is a lip guys and then we're done, look at us. And it's only 9.20, I normally need to leave by 9.45. Look at us being efficient. Without y'all's help, though, I would have been sitting here like, uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> and thank you. Y'all are beautiful as well. You're beautiful people because you don't come on my channel <laughs> saying mean and ugly things, which, oh my gosh, I was one of my friends. Well, I have a lot of friends that just have babies and one of them, she's having issues breastfeeding or whatever. Of course, y'all know I don't have any kids, but she was like in this mommy group. And she was talking about how she's been having to supplement with formula. And like so many moms on there were so evil to her. Like they made her cry. Some of the stuff they were saying to her, they called her lazy. They said that she hates her child because she's not breastfeeding only. And it, I went on the post and I don't even have kids. And I was like, this is not how you treat a new mom. Like you should not be treating anybody this way, especially women treating women so nasty like that. It made me want to cry. Some of the stuff that they were saying to her. Why did I get on this topic? Oh, basically, don't be mean to people. Like, you know the saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going in with another coat on the bottom lashes. See, it's not a big deal. I tell people all the time, like, not every baby's the same. Not every mom is the same. Not everybody's supply is the same. Not everybody's supply game is super strong. You know, not everybody's latch game is the same. I don't even have a baby, but I've heard things. So you can't judge someone if they need to supplement with formula. Like the fact that they're supplementing shows that they care enough about their child that they know that something's wrong and they need to get more nutrients. So they get formula and formula is expensive. So you can't say somebody hates their child if they're paying for formula. Bro, that stuff is expensive. I know it's not cheap. So don't judge them and like say mean things about them like or say that they're not a real mom because they can't breastfeed like stuff like that. That's terrible. That's just terrible. Or women who choose not to breastfeed at all. That is their decision. I don't think either one is better than the other because science and um, science, science and research and stuff has come so far to where they can basically create like the ideal breast milk in formula version a formula version of like the ideal breast milk so don't like say that somebody's not a real mom or they're lazy because they don't want to breastfeed like it's their decision their child's gonna grow up just as healthy just as strong just as intelligent as a child that's been fully breastfed i'm sure like there's studies that say that breastfeeding is better or whatever but i feel like it's all on how you raise the child okay yeah what they eat is very important but their experiences play just as much in a, uh, just as much a role in like how they develop over time. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Just don't attack people if they want to formula feed their baby, okay? Just don't do it. Cuz it's not nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sorry, that was like a really strange rant, but I was just looking at all the stuff they were saying to her today, this morning, actually, before I walked Nola, and I was like, this is terrible. The way they're treating her, it's terrible. And that group, it's not a support group. That's a hate group. Okay, we need a lip color. Hopefully I'll have a baby one of these days. Maybe. Nola's over here huffing and puffing, it's really funny. Normala, no, Normala, Norma, Norma, Nola breastfed her children. Nola has children. She breastfed them. So I don't know where they at though. So there, there, that goes to show you. <laughs> All right, let's do. Y'all said a new lip with a gloss. So we're going to do the Fenty Gloss Balm over the top of a minted lipstick. Because there's two of them I haven't worn yet that I have. So I have the shade Dark Night, which is, I think, darker than Foxy Brown. Yeah, I have the shade Dark Night and the shade Foxy Brown. We're going to go with Foxy Brown from Minted. This is what the box looks like that it comes in. Super cute packaging. They all have like this little leaf, which I think is adorable. I love leaves. I used to have a pair of leaf earrings that look just like the leaves that they put on their packaging. They're from Claire's and they were silver. I think I still have them somewhere. But yeah, let's go with this shade. Again, it's called Foxy Brown. Ooh, look at that. It's really pretty. It's a nude color. Ooh, it's kind of dark. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. I'm just gonna do a little bit like a light coat of this so it's not super opaque. So I'm gonna do one more swipe. And then I'm gonna put the Fenty Gloss Balm on top. Oh, that's what the box looks like for Fenty Gloss Balm. Y'all have seen it, I'm sure. And here it is. Never used it before. Heard so many good things about it. Ooh, yeah, the doe foot is really big. Mmm. Mmm. Smells good. Ooh. Smells real good. Mmm. I just put like a big glop of it in the middle. Okay, this is the look. I'm done. Hope you all enjoyed my random rant about <laughs> breastfeeding and uh, formula feeding babies. I'm going to put my clothes on, head to church, and then go to work, go to work, go to work, work, work. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the nice compliments. Um, yeah, I definitely would suggest these products. Um, we use mostly stuff that was either created by black women or owned by black women. So that's always a good thing. Have a superb Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you have a wonderful work week, Monday through Friday. A hey. what's WTG mean? What the WTG? I don't know what that means, but hopefully it's a good thing. Oh, way to go. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Me and uh, what is it called? Acronyms? Yeah, acronym? They don't we don't get along. Yeah, my brain. I need full words. Yeah. So I can't deal with these young kids. You know, these young kids out here be saying all sorts of letters, and I'm looking at them like, okay. <laughs> okay, I need to go. Thank you so much for watching. Um Ooh. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go and stop being weird. Bye.